With the 2023 Christmas event, the Elf Camp has returned as a limited time game pass, costing 500 Robux. In this video, I'll be reviewing its stats, values, and uses, and then giving my personal ranking of it to help you decide if it's worth buying. So hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get straight to it. At level 0, it costs 300 cash to place and summons elves every 15 seconds. The elves deal damage by ramming into enemies and have 8 health. At level 1, it costs a total of 450 cash and spawns elves every 12 seconds. At level 2, it costs a total of 775 cash and now also spawns snowball elves every 20 seconds. Snowball elves throw snowballs at enemies within range. They have 12 health, deal 3 damage, have a fire rate of 3.008, 18 range, and 0.99 DPS. At level 3, it costs a total of 2,275 cash and now also spawns bomber elves every 25 seconds seconds. Bomber elves ram into enemies and upon dying create an explosion. They have 14 health, deal 35 splash damage, and have an explosion range of 16. At level 4, it costs a total of 5,775 and it spawns guardian elves instead of basic elves every 20 seconds and two cannoneer elves instead of snowball elves every 25 seconds. The guardian elf attacked enemies in range with its sword. It has 60 health, deals 15 damage, has a swing rate of 0.508, 6 range, and 29.53 DPS. The cannoneer elves shoot snowballs at enemies in range. They have 20 health, deal 4 damage, have a fire rate of 0.508, 20 range, and 7.87 DPS, but remember, it spawns two cannoneers at a time, not just one. At level 5, it costs a total of 15,275 cash. It now spawns gunner elves instead of cannoneer elves every 25 seconds, spawns a gift bomber instead of bomber elves every 50 seconds, and spawns the ripped elf every 80 seconds. The gunner elves shoot at enemies in range. They have 25 health, deal 6 damage, shoot in bursts of 6, have a fire rate of 0.208, a cooldown of 1, 25 range, and 16.01 DPS. They also now have the ability to shoot hidden enemies. The gift bomber flies over enemies, throwing bombs at those in range. It has 100 health, deals 40 splash damage, a fire rate a 2.008, 14 range, 16 explosion range, and 19.92 DPS. The Ripped Elf throws giant snowballs at enemies in range, dealing splash damage. It has 800 health, does 140 splash damage, throws every 4.008 seconds, has 40 range, 24 explosion range, and 34.93 DPS. You can place a max of 2 elf cams, which is a pretty restrictive placement limit. However, each elf camp can be incredibly powerful. In a previous video of mine, I calculated that the max elf camp will on average be dealing roughly 189 damage, giving it a value of 12.37 DPS per 1k spent. That is fantastic, being one of the highest values in the game. Also, because it can deal splash damage, hit hidden enemies, and has high single target DPS, it can handle pretty much any enemy in follow mode. Placing two level 0 elf camps will do great in the early game, being able to fend up until wave 7. One of the biggest negatives of this tower is its placement limit, as that restricts the max DPS you can get from it to about 378, which isn't great. However, having such an incredibly high value makes up for this, as it can be a great option for early and mid game while still being helpful in the late game. If you bring a tower to fill up the placement limit, like the golden minigunner, the placement limit of the elf camp shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to give the elf camp a high A tier. Genuinely, the only issue of it is its placement limit, but it has amazing value, high DPS, and great coverage. If you have the 500 Robux, I'd highly recommend buying it. But let me know how you would rank it in the comments below. Also, hit that like button and subscribe to join Bluehead Mafia. If you want to talk to me, consider joining my Discord. There's a link in a pinned comment. I'll see you guys in the next video.